Body color is determined by the big A and little a alleles. Big A homozygotes are red and are present at a frequency of 0.2 in population 1 and 0.1 in population 2. Heterozygotes are purple and are present at a frequency of 0.4 in population 1 and 0.6 in population 2. Little a homozygotes in blue are present at a frequency of 0.4 in population 1 and 0.3 in population 2. Note that the genotypic frequencies of the body color locus in these two populations are different. This is not the case for the allelic frequencies. The allelic frequency of big A is represented by the variable P and is obtained by adding the frequency of big A homozygotes in a population to half the frequency of heterozygotes. In both populations, P is equal to 0.4. The allelic frequency of little a is represented by the variable q. This variable is equivalent to 1 minus p, but q can also be obtained by adding the frequency of little a homozygotes in a population to half the frequency of heterozygotes. In both populations, q is equal to 0.6. In contrast with the genotypic frequencies of population 1 and population 2, the allelic frequencies are identical. These sample populations are derived from populations in which mating is random, population size is large, mutation rate is negligible, and there is no gain or loss of individual members, migration. Under such conditions, the Hardy-Weinberg law describes how reproduction and Mendelian genetics affect the allelic and genotypic frequencies. For such populations, the Hardy-Weinberg law predicts that allelic frequencies do not change from one generation to the next, and that genotypic frequencies will stabilize after one generation in proportions p squared, 2pq, and q squared. Let's see what happens to populations 1 and 2 after a single generation. After one generation, the proportions of individuals with different body colors change in each population. Now, the genotypic frequencies are the same in population 1 and population 2, despite being different in the preceding generation. Further predicted by the Hardy-Weinberg law, the allelic frequencies of both populations have not changed from those of the preceding generation. Moreover, the proportions of the genotypes follow what would be predicted by the Hardy-Weinberg law, p squared, 2pq, and q squared. Because these two populations are now in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, the proportion of each genotype in subsequent generations will remain the same. When a population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, the distribution of genotypic frequencies depends solely on the allelic frequencies. See for yourself how changes in the allelic frequencies can affect the proportions of each genotype in the sample population. You can change the values of P and Q by dragging the anchor boxes along the axes of both graphs.